So the mountain top and midnight are back with the second week of Into the Light and I have to admit the rules for mountain top are pretty nice and you know what's even better? If you have sticky grenades you can literally use it as your own personal rocket to launch yourself to the moon. It's wild. Now I've always loved mountain top, it was great back in the day, in mountain top, a recluse and an anarchy good old times. But that was in the past. A good combo right now that's lethal AF is a mountain top, sunshot and apex predator. With both mountain top and apex being able to auto reload when it comes to good perk choices, it means you can constantly swap between those weapons, which means you can achieve an overall better damage when it comes to DPS on bosses. But you know the two things that I love even more about mountain top is that you can one, jump shot yourself in the air, which is going to make it a lot funner for speedrunners when you pair it with an eager edge sword, and two, that mountain top is just a great all round weapon that benefits both your boss DPS loadout, but also general ad clear as well, which might make it a good GM loadout. Anyway this week we have the return of the mountain top, and I'm going to go over all the potential rules for this weapon, and the best rules that I think are worth chasing, but before we get into it, let me know what rules that you're going for down below for the mountain top, because in my opinion, there's a few decent combos to go for. But guys if you find this video useful, then as always a rating is much appreciated, but now let's get into it. So firstly, the way you get this weapon is by farming the Onslaught activity, which you can find over at the Into the Light destination. You will want to make sure that you do the Mountaintop quest so that you can unlock the attunement, as this will ensure that you have a higher chance of getting the Mountaintop to drop from those reward chests every 10 rounds you complete. If you don't do this, then, well, with the loot pool only growing as weeks go by, it's just going to be a hassle for this weapon to drop, and it could be hours until you get just one drop of the weapon, let alone a god roll that you might be chasing. Now the mountain top is a kinetic grenade launcher, one of a very few unique grenade launchers in the game, but what makes this weapon fun to use is its micro missile that basically just fires in a straight line and now deals reduced self damage, so you can use it to launch yourself in the air, which I'm not going to lie, it's pretty damn fun. Now there are two versions of this weapon, you got the normal version, and then you got the limited edition one with a special ornament that's only available until June. The sunset version of this weapon originally rolled with rangefinder and rampage, while the created rule that's given to you upon completing the quest for mountain top is lead from gold and one for all. Not really the rule I'd go for, so for now until I get a better shiny rule, that's gonna sit there. Now the rules for mountain top that you can get in the first slot are ambitious assassin, impulse amplifier, demolitionist, lead from gold, slick draw, auto loading holster, and overflow. While in the second slot you can get rampage, vorpal weapon, adrenaline junkie, one for all, harmony, recombination, and frenzy. So quite a few good rules to go for. Now for your PvE god rule, I'd personally go for quick launch, spike grenades, auto loading and recombination. This is the rule I'm chasing because with auto loading and recombination, I feel like it's the perfect pair to just run and gun while getting that extra DPS in because of the auto loading. You'll be able to swap to your heavy, do some DPS, swap back to mountain top, launch a shot, then swap back to your auto loaded heavy and then just repeat. And in the process of that, you could be sneaking in a few kills at the same time, especially if you're using double auto loading weapons in the kinetic and heavy slot, because there's just no need to sit there reloading. Your alternative rule would be overflow and recombination, and that is if you don't care about the auto reload while sitting there, but for me it is going to be auto loading and recombination. Other good perks to use for PvE are ambitious assassin in the third slot, and harmony or frenzy in the fourth slot, but honestly I don't feel like it's worth losing recombination combination, but let me know what your pick is down below. For PvP players, your PvP role that you'd want would be Volatile Launch, High Velocity Rounds, Impulse Amplifier and either Harmony or Vorpal Weapon, but I'm not really the go-to when it comes to PvP, so this is just what I'd pick. So the comment section might be your go-to when it comes to getting PvP advice. Either way though, the mountain top being back definitely brings back a lot of those good old memories we had back in the day, but let me know what you think of the mountain top being back, and if it's worth the grind for you or do you not really care as much for it. Otherwise guys, that's all I have for you today, just a quick weapon rule break down as usual. So thank you all for tuning in and until next time, stay safe and keep grinding.